Hello everyone, today I want to discuss about toolboards. This video it will be um, about these three toolboards. This is a EBB 42, this is EBB 36, and this one is the toolboard found in the um, Sovol SV8. It's a two PCB. They are connected together. It's very nice, the toolboard, but for my likings, it's a little bit too big. And another thing that I don't like about this one is that it has very, not very small, tiny connectors and they are hard to work with. Nothing uh, else good or bad about uh, uh, this toolboard. Okay, so let's start with this one. This one is a very straightforward. Let me open the... Uh, he, this is the USB uh, port for um, flashing the tool. I don't like to use it as a USB tool. I like to use it as a can, how it was supposed to be used. Because um, if your uh, USB on the host is not protected, 24 volt from here, it can go straight to the USB and burn your uh, USB port on the host. For example, the Raspberry Pi, because this one has to be connected to... Uh, we are talking about uh, paper uh, for now. Okay, so here it's um, uh, ground, uh, ground and 24 volt. Uh, if I remember good, it can uh, work also with 12 volts, but um, here it's uh, can low, can high. Also, if you want to connect another can board, tool board, or can whatever it is, you can use these two um, pins here, these two jumpers. No, it's not jumper, these two, let's call them uh, Dupont. Uh, this one is uh, can low and this one is can high and you can uh, daisy chain multiple boards also this one has uh, here this port okay this port here is for the extruder motor this is for your heater this is a fan 2 fan 1 uh, this is the thermistor okay and here you have uh, some jumpers one of the jumper is uh, for uh, the resistor and one is if you are using a PT1000 they recommend to put a jumper here to short these two and uh, put in your uh, uh, thermistor configuration uh, a pull-up resistor of 22K Okay, 2200. Uh, I uh, saw that uh, it can work with using a PT1000 thermistor. Without this here, it can work the same. Uh, maybe I didn't uh, make enough tests, but <clears throat> this one is it doesn't have the max uh, chip, the max uh, 31. Uh, 865 okay if you're hearing the noise in the background my 3d printer is printing uh, this one is supposed to be uh, boot and this one is reset okay here we have um, this uh, it's called an end stop what we have here we have a 5 volt ground and three logic pins Okay, ah, end stop, that also it can be used, it can be used as a um, filament detector. It uses how we like to use them, okay, 
one pin it doesn't matter which one of the um, far away pins this one is let's read this one is uh, normal close and this one is close the normal open in, uh, inside so we are using the nc and the c um, let me okay so uh, one it should be uh, ground and one it should be a logic pin so here we have three logic pins so this it means that we can connect three um, end stops in my case how i like to use them the ground it will be common to all of them one it will be the x end stop one it will be the first filament sensor and one it will be the second filament sensor it doesn't matter the order you have to um, remember which uh, which end stop is connected to which pin and we can switch this in the firmware okay here these uh, three uh, pins there are the uh, leds rgb leds this is ground this is um, lo the logic pin and the, the data the data and this is uh, 5 volt these are going to the uh, rgb led in the middle here this is called the y2c we have two logic pins a ground and a 5 volt these two logic pins we can use them whatever we want we want another um, uh, let's say another um, rgb uh, socket we can use the 5 volt we can use one of the two uh, logic pins and the ground we want two more extra um, uh, end stops we can use them we can use these two logic pins as an end stop and the ground to be uh, shared uh, for the rest and here we have uh, the probe this I like to use it uh, when I'm using uh, clicky to use uh, the PB8 and the ground for clicky and we still have PB9 a, a five, another 5 volt and another ground so in theory we can use the ground 5 volt and uh, PB9 for another uh, LED or whatever uh, you would like or you can use this for a servo for example you can use this for a servo you can use for a servo the um, rgb it doesn't matter this is a thing very important if on on the pinout of this board it's uh, called that this these uh, three pins are for the rgb it doesn't it doesn't mean that you cannot connect anything else and you can connect only the rgbs don't uh, these are uh, except this one these two are uh, broken this one it has uh, i don't know how it explode this maybe uh, short and uh, this one uh, i don't remember how i broke this but there are good uh, test objects okay so i think we covered everything here how I like to uh, to connect the, the part cooling fans in one of the two ports uh, in uh, parallel because we have two on our tool heads we have two um, part cooling fans and on the other uh, fan port we uh, use in parallel one fan for the hot end and in the same plug the fan for the can board okay so here the heater what i like uh, i start liking more and more these toolbars because as a footprint you can see that they are smaller than the this one and they have a bigger connector for the heater and also they have a bigger connector for the um, uh, 24 volt the um, voltage coming in and um, i start liking more these uh, toolboards 
they were designed this for for the um, NEMA 14 pancakes and this for the NEMA 17. But when you are uh, when you have the pen in your hand, you can use them as as much as you like. You can switch and make um, new holders for them. So here, let me switch to have it on. Okay, this is going to the heater. Uh, so fan port 2, fan port 1, the thermistor, here are the uh, LEDs, the stepper motor, and here are the probe, the end stop, and the Y2C. Same like this, but they are uh, arranged in a different position. And same how I told you on this one, you can use the logic pins for multiple um, uh, multiple end stops or for another um, RGB uh, port or for whatever you want the, um, the only two ports that you cannot use them for anything else uh, there are the um, except for what they are supposed to the CAN but also this one you can use uh, for uh, USB, but it's better to stick on CAN. Um, the stepper motor. <coughs> because this, there are uh, connected to the uh, TMC driver. Uh, but also these pins, you can um, use them in a different uh, application. Okay, also also here on, on the fan you have a 24 volt and a logic pin and when it's activated the logic pin is shorted to ground. This is how it works. They have uh, um, this one the, uh, the far away it's the 24 volt and the inside into the board is the logic pin, the uh, PA1. And when you uh, engage the fan the PA1 is shorted to ground. This is uh, how it uh, was written in uh, the firmware. And uh, your fan starts spinning. So, also, if you have a three port fan, you can use here 24 volt and um, uh, like plus and minus, okay? 24 volt and the logic pin to uh, engage the fan. And if your fan it has a three port, you can use the third pin in one of these remaining three connectors and connect it as a tachometer. I have done this and it works. And now let's go to the original Sobol SVO8 toolboard and let's discuss. Here we have a uh, USB port. The one that is connected to the motherboard, if I'm not mistaken. Here it's the power in and power, uh, the minus and uh, the ground and 24 volt. Uh, these uh, three pins here are for the heater. Um, here, this is a, is called a BL touch, but it has ground, 24 volt, a logic pin. A ground and another logic pin so you can use I, how I was using this board on the shroud v4 v3 I was using the ground and pb7 for um, x n stop and the second ground and pb6 for the um, um, clicky it doesn't matter the order it you has to use a ground and a logic pin Okay, here we have the thermistor. Okay, uh, here we have a fan port that uh, it has three and some uh, uh, hot glue. <laughs> here we have a fan port one, fan port two, and the fan port three. One of them, uh, this one, if I remember good, it's uh, unused. So you can use this for the uh, toolboard fan. Here you have two logic pins and the 24 volt. If your fan it has two wires, 
you will connect one of the two logic pins, the PB0 or PA3, uh, and um, 24 volt. Going here, here we have the uh, extruder, the stepper motor, the pins for it. Here we have another uh, fan uh, port. And uh, this one, I think it, it's used for... Um, I don't remember for what it's used. The part cooling fan, the big, the big one, it's uh, it's here, if I remember good. <coughs> okay, on the shroud, um, on the shroud V4, the back, uh, the fan that is in the back, we don't use it, so we have an extra port um, uh, free. And here we have a UR pin. What it means? It means that we have two logic pins, a 5 volt and the ground. I was using three of these four pins for the LED. The 5 volt, one of the two, I don't remember which one, I think uh, PA9 I was using it, and the ground. <coughs> so we have another uh, logic pin here for, um, let's say, for one of the filament sensors. If you want to use two filament sensors, you have here on this because we are using only uh, for the fan only two ports we you have another uh, pin here so we can use in this connector two wires for a fan and one wire from here and one for another ground around the place for the filament sensor so be creative guys you just need to remember the um, pin number and write this down in uh, the clipper software. I will try to do um, to do like um, a basic uh, config file for each one of the three boards, but you have to be creative. So I wanted to do uh, this video for such a long, but you may know that I am uh, <clears throat> a new being uh, a father and it's new to me and uh, my time is uh, limited. But now I uh, took the time and I made this video. Thank you for uh, watching this video. Uh, if you are not subscribed, hit the subscribe button because we have a lot of new uh, nice things to share. and. <clears throat> I have something very interesting in this box, but this is for a later video. So, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you dislike this video, <clears throat> hit the dislike twice. And uh, see you in the upcoming videos. Bye. Cheers. Hope that this it uh, help clarify a lot of uh, things regarding the toolbox. It doesn't matter what 3D printer do you have. Okay, this is for the Sobol Z8. It doesn't matter. But these two, you can install them in at any other 3D printer. So it will be a video that it will help um, anyone that wants to use or know more about this uh, toolbox. So. <clears throat> Thank you for being here. I appreciate it if you like this uh, video and share it with others to spread the word. See you guys. Bye.